Hi YouTube, this is Claire from over at www.missmeager.com. Um, I wanted to talk to you about um, the lap book that we did this week for our lesson plan for my home daycare. Um, now I have um, five children in the age ranges from 17 months to four years old. So when I pick a curriculum, um, or a lesson plan rather, because I do my own curriculum for the week, um, I have to think things that are very generic that I can um, do personal things with the older kids and then that I can also do fun stuff and just general storybooks and videos and things like that for the younger kids. So I'm just going to go over some of the materials that I used and then I'm going to show you how we did the lap books. Um, this is also really good if you homeschool because again I use really generic things so you can pretty much use this for any age range and I did this intentionally because my husband and I are um, in the process of becoming foster parents and I plan on our foster children participating in what um, I do with the daycare children during the summer. So anyway, um, so I use um, two things, well really three if you count me, but I use two things to get our curriculum. I use the local library and I use the internet and that's it. Um, so you can homeschool for free. This is also kind of along those lines. Um, but okay, so I'll go over the library materials first. So I got this eyewitness rainforest um, video. It's not very long. It's like maybe I'm, I think I think it's maybe like twenty minutes. But let me, yeah, twenty seven minutes each. So yeah, it's twenty seven minutes. It's not very long, but it's um, it's really interesting. My kids all really liked it. My husband liked it. So there you go. Um, this is a book about the rainforest, which I was able to read to the kids because it's really, really simple. Um, I'll just show you an example. So if you see, it's really easy to read to small children, but it also has enough information that if you had older kids, um, they wouldn't be particularly bored by the information. Um, so a really good book. Um, this one, we didn't read the whole book, but what we did was we went through it and we read the animal descriptions because the actual book was pretty much the same thing that was in there, but it wasn't as, um, it was a little bit more detailed. Um, so anyway, yeah, we just read the animal descriptions in here and I use these for our lap books, which you can't do if you're doing anything with like a big school or whatever, but, um, I figure for home use, it's okay to Xerox. I actually don't think you're allowed to do that. But anyway, um, this, the kids really like to look through it. I definitely am not going to read this whole book. Um, it would take ages and it's super detailed but we like to look through it and kind of talk about the certain things and maybe if they ask me like you know oh well, what's that then I could read about that so um yeah I love these books these I wonder and the eyewitness books are awesome um and then this is a cute little story I really think he was more in the jungle not so much in the rainforest but um uh, it's really cute. I read the story to the kids. They liked it. It's similar, though. The jungle, the rainforest. It could be the African rainforest. So, anyway. And then the materials that I got online was a map, which I did one big one so that we could talk about it. Um, and then we did a few little ones for the lap books. Um, we have this tree frog craft. Um, links to all of this is in my latest blog post, which I will put a link for in the bottom of the video. So... Um, tree frog craft, wordless, which I used this whole thing because I used the rainforest thing for the lap book and the little picture at the bottom of the lap book. The, the word list, word lists are really, really important to me because I have, um, a 16 or a 17 month old and a 19 month old, both who are talking, um, and they repeat. And so I, I try to give as many big words as I can because the more that I can get them to repeat, the better. Um, these are little puzzles, which I have to cut out, if you can see. And then I'm going to have them put them together. And then um, some coloring sheets. We did the other coloring sheet yesterday and already sent it home. But this is one of the coloring sheets, which I thought was really cute. Um, again, links for all this is in my blog. 
So, lap booking. So, I know a lot of stuff for lap books. It uses um, file folders and stuff like that. But um, I am really on a budget. And I can't afford a whole box of file folders. So, I have construction paper. I have boxes of construction paper. Because my sister is also a teacher. And she gives me leftover stuff all the time. So, basically, you have a piece of construction paper. You're going to fold it sideways like this so that it makes a little book and this works for me I mean granted if you choose to do the the bigger one that's fine sorry about the mess in the background by the way um, but for us you know this works so if this is what you want to do for lap booking go for it so this is what our finished lap book looks like this is the example the kids haven't um, really begun working on it yet they don't usually start those until like today or Wednesday um, Monday we don't start on them usually so here's the tree frog craft um, rainforest and little picture and then if you open it up so we've got our word list um, some animal information that we got out of the book um, I would I mean again photocopying out of a book I'm not sure exactly what the rules are for that I definitely know you can't do it for a classroom I think it's okay for personal use um, but if you are concerned just get on the internet and find the same thing and print it out um, and then here's the little map cut out and then um, hello which is hola in um, Spanish and hola in Portuguese um, I'm gonna type that up actually for the kids to do so that will be typed and put in there but this is just the example book so um, yeah but if you have older kids you could totally go into this even more you could do the the layers of the, the you know the canopy layers and or the layers of the tree. I know that there's like the canopy layer and the shrub layer and all that. Anyway, you could do that over here. You could also do more on the back. I know a lot of people don't do stuff on the back, but when you're using construction paper, you got to get creative with space. Um, also, if you had older kids, I would recommend that they write a lot of information on cards or something and then puts that in there because then you're just enforcing um, writing and penmanship. So um, that's how we do lot books. Again, this is for preschoolers. So it's going to be a lot more simple than for older kids, but um, you can totally use it for older kids and I definitely recommend it. I think it's really, really good to look back on these and um, I think that it helps with learning, especially if you have visual learners. So um, yeah, that's our, uh, you know, our overview of what we did material wise this week and how to do a lap book for a preschooler out of construction paper. Um Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button and go over to www.missmeager.com and click the join this site button on the side to get more information about, um, you know, lap booking and homemaking and saving money and all kinds of other good stuff. So go check it out. Okay.